gang, as requested, I'm doing an unboxing, and uh, this will probably also be first impressions on the Gotway MCM5 800 watt. This has finally arrived. If you recall, I ordered it at the beginning of June. Uh, we used air shipping, and in spite of that, it took a really long time because of various delays, and uh, I guess it got caught in customs and what have you, but Jason came through and it is here. So, here we go. Kind of heavy. <laughs> In case you're wondering, kind of heavy. Um, hopefully that is not foreshadowing of this guy at all. We'll find out. Um, you may also notice that over the last two months I have redone my my garage and my wall a little bit. Um, I've got my M10 up there. I've got the borrowed M Super 84 volt here. My wife's uh, Segway Mini Pro. It's got us into all these things. My safety gear, backpack. And this is going to go right there in that empty spot. It'll be very exciting. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but that truck. Inside we have a white box, the other half of the handle throw, some padding, the wheel itself, and an instruction board. Let's see what we got going on here. Wow. Um, I'm going to grab a stand for it right quick so that we can talk about it. So you got a you got a little gotway um, right here. There's a there's a defect on the carbon fiber. It's probably not that visible since I'm gonna wreck this thing anyway a lot. Not that big a deal. The gotway sticker is not on all the way. It's been typical for everybody. Probably that makes it easier to peel off and put some actual padding there. Um, the pedals go all the way up and we'll rub on the the plastic. Um, they do stay up though. It feels like there's a magnet there. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of a bumper, I think. We'll see what happens. Um, it has a little bit of a bumper sticker right here, actually. So, turns out we may not need one. Yes, they've added a little bumper sticker. This is, uh, it's round, so that's there to probably stop it from, from scratching. Although that being said, they're scratching here already here. So, got way is got way. What are you gonna do? All right, here's the front of it. Uh, dogs are barking, so GoPro stop recording. It's a brief interruption by my dog Chivas, who is barking to come out. Um, we have ourselves. Uh, a gotway adapter and they've stopped using the sticker and started using print-on. It's a 2.5 amp max output. Um, oh, input, sorry. Output is 1.5 amps. We're not going to use this though. Um, what we have instead is a quick charger from e wheels. Uh, the quick charger has a couple of settings on it from 1 to 5 amps. And from 80% to 100%. Um, this is where I usually use the 80% to kind of charge it up because it's new. We're going all the way to 100. Once every five or six charges, you want to take it all the way to 100 to balance the cells. The readout shows that here. Um, it's basically 100 bucks if you buy a wheel from them or have been a customer of some sort. So we're going to charge that on up instead of using this one. And I'll get to ride it a little quicker. All right. I've gone ahead and plugged it in. Um, you can see the readout here, it's at 73 volts. It's charging at 5 amps. It'll continue going all the way up. 
Um, worth saying is that the, even the small Scott weight configuration, um, the M10, has enough cells that putting five amps into it in serial stays below the specification. Uh, so you're not going to overload it. In terms of the new charger combined with the old charger, I have a charge doctor here which takes two slots. So we're going to combine the one and a half and the one and a half and end up with a three amp charger. Um, so I could do two wheels at once. This was 20 bucks. Um, it's where I started before I knew I was really interested in this or not. It allows you to set how, uh, how much charge you're going to do it at what rate. So I guess the advantage of staying with the 84 volt got ways is I can use this charger on multiple wheels now. Chivas, don't wander off. All right. Um, turning this around to the front. We have our power on button. We have our charge. We have our USB, I presume which I will probably use to drive extra LEDs. It's a five volt USB. We have our headlight. Um, continuing it all the way around. On the back side of this, we have our recessed handle, which is very stiff. Um, really, really stiff. Um, not a lot of movement on it, just stiff coming up and down as well as uh, stiff being controlling the wheel. I kind of like it. Um, seems like it's a pretty good height. We'll find out in use. Uh, we have a hole for the handle. It's fairly deep. Um, I can stick my hand all the way into the knuckles. There is a button I can hear depressing for turning the wheel on and off. To be expected. Um, I may drill a hole through the shell just to have the ability to wrap extra headlights and speakers and things onto this. We'll see, haven't decided yet. We may also apply some lubrication or something to see if I can get this uh, sliding better. It's, man, is it stiff. I could start to loosen up. All right, now it's powered on. Um, When it comes on, first time, looks like it's configured with the red lights. And it looks like they have fade from high to, to low. There's a couple of them here. Um, it looks like the lights move in the direction. I guess I was wrong about the magnet. It's coming down on its own. I may have to install magnets. So we're we'll tightening that up. Press the button once. We have a solid headlight on. Press it twice. It's a blinking headlight. Three times. Uh, it looks like the light has cycled now to the batteries. You can see that there's one, two, three batteries showing. There's nothing going on in the back. Press it again. Headlight. Blinking light. Now we're onto a rainbow. The rainbow cycles with direction. Oh, that was interesting. I Oh, I'm pressing the button. <laughs> so I was like, it's overpowered. Why is that? Because my hands are here. When I lift up, the button goes off. So the cutoff uh, happens automatically. It's a switch. But you can also cut it off this way to tilt it. Um, so I was, and then you can see it snap back in. Um, I believe, yeah, you can set it on its side. Uh, three beeps, no problem. Bring it back on up. We're good to go. Continuing through the cycling. Uh, all the lights are off now on this mode. Let's see if I do a long press, it turns it on and off. You remember the mode, so we have our stealth. Short press, headlight, triple light, rainbow. Um, This is battery plus rainbow, that's what I'm seeing here. So three buttons plus the rainbow in the back. Um, probably the mode I'll keep it in, see if I can do another one. Um, now we have battery plus um, battery indicator on the top. 
So I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but there's two lights here and there's two lights here and a rainbow. And a little bit of motion there. Back to the red. I like the red a lot. I wish it showed the battery at the same time. Um, it's pretty silent. I think we can hear it wind up a little bit, but not a lot. So I think I'm going to start right here um, and do some more research. I thought this is the battery mode at the top. It's not. It's one, two, three, four, five. But they're not the rainbow color. They were. See? Um, that's interesting. Well, we'll charge it up and see where it goes from there. Um, looks like it came calibrated pretty well out of the factory as well. Can't really complain about that. Um, maybe the only other thing to check here. So I'm trying to pick it up now without using the lock off. And there it is. So it definitely works. Um, here's the Bluetooth on it. And I will get this charging again because I want to ride it as soon as possible. And the reset button. So this starts to charge again. And we'll bring up the Bluetooth on the Gotway app and see what's up with that. Okay, it's turned on. By the way, I turned it on at an angle, um, so you can see that. Got way wise. Search for the wheel. It's 19 932. What a catchy name. It's connected out of the factory. It comes set to strong. I love that. Um, we're gonna turn off the first class alarm. Turn off the second class alarm. Um, Tilt back speed. Uh, we're going to set to, let's say, 42 kilometers for now. Uh, mileage shows up as 0.9 kilometers, 428 meters. So apparently there's been a little testing, which is comforting. Uh, it's showing up at 40% battery level right now. Um, all, all things considered, pretty good. So that, that ain't bad. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to charge from 40%. It's uh, 10 of two right now. Um, something I want to note about the instruction manual, it's mostly um, in Chinese, it has zero number, what have you. There's one page of English, uh, which refers to a couple of things, something new that I'm spotting in here. It says Gotway has those automatic protective functions, speed limit protection based on rider's weight and battery capacity, automatically turned off once leaning over 45 degrees, automatically turned off once the tire is hung up more than two seconds, uh, power short circuit protection, power over voltage protection, or low voltage protection. For all detail, please visit their website. Um, pay attention to automatic process functions for the product. So, glad to see that. Um, also, there's illustrations of the numbers and the rest of it, uh, also in Chinese, can't read it. So, um, it does say when the battery light is yellow or red, do not ride at high speed or accelerate or decelerate suddenly. So, apparently, not just the number of lights, but also the quality of the lights. It says do not ride in the snow or rainy days on roads uh, which are muddy, or soft, or icy. Alright, um, sorry, I get the butt here. Uh, a couple things to note, the tire pressure is uh, 40 to 50 PSI is what it's supposed to be. It came at 30. Uh, there's also a brand new sticker on here that says lithium ion electronic uh, e-probe tire. It appears to be pretty easy to get to the, uh, the valve. Um, I went to tighten the pedals. The pedals are perfectly tight. There is no, uh, that's Magellan on the camera there. 
uh, screw to tension the, the pedals either. We're going to go ahead and fill this up to, to 45. Um, just wanted to give a shout out to uh, some tools just in case you ever have need of them. This is a, um, a unique N-U-I-C-H-E uh, ratchetless. You know, it has a whole little kit of, of bike repair uh, various sizes in here, including the ones that work on the, the Gotway. Um, it fits inside, along with an extension. Um, pop that right in there like that. Um, it slides inside the handle. There's a magnet to hold it from rattling, and this screws right on down. Um, this can also be unscrewed to use finger tight in positions for people who ride bikes. So, it's kind of a handy little uh, tool with all sorts of tools inside of it, uh, well worth considering. Uh, I'm using a, a USB pump um, because I can set the number and just pop it on. And hopefully that's going to work here. We'll find out in just a moment. So we're going to turn on. We're going to set it to, to 45 or so. Uh, halfway between what should be and there should be. I'm going to Hopefully you do this one-handed. <laughs> the tire rotates. There we go. With the button. It's showing 24 psi right now. Forty-one, forty-one and a half, forty-two, forty-four and a half, forty-three, forty-four, forty-four, forty-three, forty-four, forty-six and a half, forty-four, 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 forty-four
and you can see we're at 83.7 volts in climbing on the 5 amp. I assume it's going to ramp down pretty damn quick and just start to a trickle to balance the cells. But um, that's kind of amazing for people who are talking about charging all night long. Uh, maybe think about upgrading your, your charger to put some real amps onto it. Uh, again, with the bigger battery packs, more amps going in isn't overloading the batteries. It's a perfectly fine thing to do. You're basically still charging at 1C because of the number of cells in parallel. Um, but yeah, look at that, 83.9, 80, 83.8, um, it's right in there, it's starting to ramp down. You can see it's, it's dropped just as they balance out, right? Um, that's the E-Wheels charger version 3 or version 4, whichever one has the reset button on it most recently. Uh, it's quite warm to the touch. Um, I've used this charger quite a bit already on my uh, on my M10 and on the uh, um, the M Super 84 volt. So they're all 4 pin. I've gotten a lot of use out of this charger really. Um, there it is. It's wrapping down 4.8. Um, yeah, 4.9 so we're we're getting there as it's balancing out the cells. Probably in the next uh, next 20 minutes or so, I'm at 100% and I'm going to call it like a 90 minute charge. Um, pretty damn good. Small enough to carry in your backpack if you really wanted to or had to. Uh, I don't intend to. But um, if you're thinking about it, I think it's worth the purchase. Alrighty, um, here we are. We got the D3O armor on and all the rest. It's 102 degrees out here in Texas right now. Um, so uh, the air mesh is really very good for uh, for airflow. It's not too terribly hot. Um, one of the other things that I didn't charge all the way up, I'm going to apologize for the air noise, I forgot to mic up, is uh, going down the hill, it's going to regenerate a little bit, right? Of course there's a car coming, let me park. We're not going to mess around with this because we don't really know the characteristics of this particular this vehicle. So uh, I'm going to pop down the camera and just uh, get a feel for it. This is the very first time I've been on it. I think that the tire may be a little too inflated. It's more of a type rope than it is um, a cushioning ride right now. Um, quite zippy. <laughs> quite zippy, indeed. And I'm not sure if it's in soft or hard mode right now. I can scrape the pedals. You know, it is almost 4 o'clock on Thursday afternoon and the amount of cars on this dead end street is kind of amazing. I wonder what the hell my neighbors do. And yet another fucking another car. <laughs>
little frustrating. A little frustrating. I kind of like it. Um, we're going to turn this off. I guess while we're here, we'll do the hill test right quick. See how well we do. Zip up the hill now. Holy hill climbing torque. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Holy hill climbing torque. annoying but I'm afraid it's gonna be. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Totally silent as well. Wow. All right. We may do a little speed run down the road here and see what happens. I'm pretty sure I disabled the alarm one and two and then it stuck, but I haven't checked and I really should have. Um, so we're going to do that right now. But wow. Man oh man. And accelerate. the hill we go again. This is going to be a lot of fun as a wheel, that's all I can say. It's going to take me a while to get used to it and get comfortable, but um, it feels like a lot bigger wheel, um, except that it really fun, really goes, really, really good. All right, I'm back from a little test ride. Um, I want to point out the lights here. So that's the, the battery level. I'm sitting between 80 and 90 percent right now. I did uh, 3.5 kilometers or thereabouts. Um, average speed of about 14 miles an hour, the peak speed of about 24 miles an hour. Um, <laughs> it, it feels it. <laughs> it's zippy, it goes up the hill, man. It's gonna take a little while to get used to it because um, the tire definitely feels a little different. Uh, I think I want it to be about 42 PSI, but um, I lowered it down to 40. That felt a little soft. 45 felt a little hard, so. Try to split the differences I dial this in, but man, oh man, uh, this thing doesn't see hills. It just goes. <laughs> it just goes. And uh, I'll have to check the, the GPS video on the GoPro to see what it said for the speed at the beeps, but uh, I'm using a phone tracker, which is how I know the other numbers. Um,
<laughs> wow, I need to take it downtown. Um, uh, preferably on like a Sunday morning or something like that. There's not a lot of cars and just uh, just go. Um, no overheats, no problems, no no issues whatsoever so far. Uh, we'll see if I still love it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure I will. Uh, and I'll start making some videos and uh, things as I, as I get comfortable on this. Um, what a beast. What a lovely, lovely beast. Um, I'm going to point out what I didn't realize, which is this is an attempt at a soft pad. Um, I may replace that as the other people have done. The outside of this is definitely warm. Um, certainly I was, I was pushing it pretty damn hard. The temperature, uh, again, it's 100, 103 degrees out here uh, right now in, in Texas. The temperature is showing it's 55.4 degrees Celsius. I think it was as high as... Oh, I'm sorry, 34.8 degrees Celsius. Nope, it just changed again. It's jumping back and forth. The temperature is shifting on the Gotway app. I don't know if you can see this or not, but for a moment it said it says 55.2, but it, it jumped down to 30 and then it jumped back up. So maybe that's an app issue. Um, but I think it had been as high as 55 degrees Celsius when I was really just pushing it. I think I like it better in strong mode than in oh, soft mode. Um, I am scraping my uh, my boots uh, quite a bit when I do the tight turns and things um, in soft mode and hard mode not so much so um, there's the initial thoughts love it can't wait to can't wait to try a little more gonna wait for the traffic from people coming home to go go down because I'd rather concentrate on on the wheel than the, the cars at the moment 